Hi everyone. On my screen you will see the cylinder program that we uh, made in a previous blog which uh, is done with the advanced HMI as well as the do more simulator. But in this case here I've added now a login button as well as a place where we can display the information on who's logged in. And we've modified it so that the buttons are inoperative until someone actually logs into the system. So if I hit try to hit the uh, run jog or the start, nothing happens. So if I hit the login screen, it asks for my username. I'll just put my username in and a password. And when I do that, it comes up and it says now instead of log in, it says log out. And it actually has a user level of one. And this is um, in this program, what we have is three user levels, one, two, and three. One will allow you to start and stop and reset the machine. Level two will allow you to start, stop, and jog the machine. And level three will do start, stop, jog, as well as teach. So now I'm logged in, I can now uh, start the machine and you can see it started and the cylinders are going. I can then stop the machine and I can reset it. However, I still cannot, cannot jog. So I need to log in and we'll log in as someone else. We'll let that start. You can log out. I've made it so that when you log out, it'll still continue to run. Then if we log in, we'll log in on another person's ID here. We'll say Rob Smith. And we'll log him in. It actually comes up level two. Now level two is allowed to jog. So we'll be able to stop this, um, flip it over to jog. And now we can use the jog switch and continue. So that works. And we'll reset that. We can go back to run mode and we continue to run. If we log out, it goes back into the login screen and it asks for the operator to log in to operate the machine. Now, while no one's logged in, I can't, can't start it, but I can stop it and I can still reset it. So then the machine's completely uh, down again and I can't start it again. Now we can go ahead and we can log in. And this time we'll use a user level number three. And we have a, a Mary program. And we'll just type in her password. Log in. And again, Mary pops up. It's level number three now. And so that means that we can start, we can stop, reset. We can then go into jog and jog those cylinders, reset. We can also now go into teach and now we can teach the new cylinder or sequence of cylinders. So let's uh, go ahead and we'll, um, our first step is gonna be zero. And we'll just do a, a shorter sequence. And I'm just putting something random in there. And 10 steps is good. We'll just turn this all off. Okay. Then what we can do is we can uh, jog it through. So this is exactly what we just put in. And we can then go ahead and start it. So you can see here with the different levels we have, we can log in. now. Let's uh, log out. We we'll can stop that, reset it. Now if we log in and we forget to put something in and just put log in, it will come up and actually tell us to in input the required fields. If we uh, type in a username but do not have the correct password, and it will come up with a message user and passwords don't match it will not allow me to log in. Canceling it, we just cancel out and again we're back to the main screen. 
So that's it. That's the sequence of operations that we have for our login screen using the advanced HMI. Thanks for watching. And for more details, visit our website at www.accautomation.ca.